again, everyone. This is Bob Martin with rcsub.com and the Nautilus Dry Docks, and I uh, wanted to show you the commencement of the next build log that I'll be undertaking, and hopefully you'll be sharing the journey with me. This is a 1 50th scale British upholder. It uh, was created by uh, OTW out of the UK. Uh, Bob Dimack is uh, a really great vendor. OTW Designs is the website that you can order these kits off of. Uh, certainly not the cheapest in the marketplace, but worth every dollar. The quality is exceptionally high. Got a really nicely laid up uh, hull with all of the details scribed uh, into the surface. Cast urethane parts. Uh, some arrangement drawings that uh, come with it and this absolutely gorgeous brass propeller so looking forward to installing that so I'll show you where I'm at right now and really I am at the uh, very beginning which would make it easy to show you where I'm at if we top, pop this top off and I'll try and do this one-handed So you can see that uh, inside we've got an OTW dive module. Again, not the cheapest on the marketplace, but worth every dollar. Very high quality and exceptionally good control over the model because this is a pump-based system. Allows very, very fine control over the volume in your ballast tank. This is a uh, nickel metal hydride battery pack. Uh, 12 volt. This system actually requires a full 12 volts to operate because of the dive control module underneath also monitors battery voltage. Unfortunately a LiPo works at 11.1 uh, volts versus 12 for a nine nickel metal hydride so it constantly detects a low battery state. So that leaves us with this uh, you know, older battery technology, but fortunately we've got lots of room to work with. So you see I've got this uh, in place. I've got some waterproof uh, battery connectors attached to it. I've 3D printed the uh, saddle, the, the cradle for the battery. I just need to attach that. But looking inside, you can see the uh, saddles for the watertight cylinder have also been printed and installed. And with me, I, I really kind of insist with all of my builds that the installation or removal of the watertight cylinder uh, be a fairly straightforward and easy process. So if we take a look at the other side here, you can see that the two brass knurled nuts fit into these recesses in the bulkhead, and that's been adhered to the hull. So basically what happens is you drop the cylinder down, slide it forward, these lock into place and then in the back uh, I've got another set of bulkheads this slips over these brass nuts and then a single stainless bolt holds everything down so to remove it simply remove that one bolt everything slips right out so moving forward uh, typically what I do is I get the cylinder set up first, uh, get that working properly and, and functioning perfectly. Then I move on to installation in the model and then I'll work on setting up the rear end with all of the linkages. So hopefully you'll be following along in this journey. I'll have a, a build log that goes on. I'll break this out into sections and you can see how I did it put together. Thanks for watching.